Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. Today we're going to use our orange ginger shrub that we made. You can look for that video elsewhere on the channel. I'll try to link to it below or up here in the corner. And I'm gonna make an orange ginger shrub mule. So I've got the mule cups out. We're gonna use two different kinds of vodka. This vodka is from Quebec. It is a grain vodka. It's in this really cool can that I have trouble pouring from. And this is batch number one from this distillery. Oh, you know what? I can learn. Okay, so two ounces of vodka in that one and two ounces of our shrub. And then this cup is gonna get the same, two ounces of shrub and two ounces of this vodka uh, that is distilled in Toronto and it's made from rye grain. And so being distilled from rye grain, it gives sort of a spicy note to the vodka. Um, and with the changes in vodka rules over the last few years, they're allowed to do that. So I'm gonna put ice in. And I know that for a mule, you're supposed to crush the ice. And you've seen me do it on the channel in the past. I'm not a huge fan of the really crushed powdery ice. Um, Julie doesn't like how it waters it down so much. So I'm just gonna give these a bit of a stir and then we'll finish with the rest of the ice. Okay. And we'll top those up with ice. So I'll just give them another stir. Hey, Glenn. Hey, hey friends. Joyce. Hey, we got the shrubs out. So that is the orange ginger shrub and a couple of vodkas, local vodkas. That'll work. This gets an orange peel, although it's um, it's orange and ginger. So you could put like a candied piece of ginger on there as That'd well. Pretty good. That'd be really good. You could uh, do a little stack. So I, all sorts of ways you can yeah. decorate it. <laughs> I was looking for candied ginger in the in the cupboard, but I couldn't find any, and I know very well that. I can't keep it in the house. Snacking? Yes. A little snacking yes. Problem. So, um, let's give it a go. All right. Smells orangey. Mm. Okay, so this is the, mine is the Narval vodka. Yours is the Spirit of York. What are you getting? It's got an interesting bite to it. Yeah. This one does. Let like me, it's, it's. Let me try that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, this one's completely different, but again. Yeah. Both of those vodkas, because you think of vodka as being a flavorless thing. And so I was expecting, you yes. know. You think, it's, oh, it's just going to taste just gingery and, and orangey, but that, no. That is, is the old vodka is, is flavorless. And when I say a bite, not like, you know if you have a really harsh, hard liquor and you're just taking a, 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 a you're sipping it and like, it's like, ah, oh, that, that not heat. that. N not that alcohol. Not that. Heat. It's yeah. actually like, it's like that joy of eating like a, a spicy, mm -hmm. spicy something mm -hmm. or, or like it, it's, it's got a kick to it that is quite... And there's so much flavor from that orange ginger shrub too. Okay. Um, yes, you could make this with the giant international mass market, millions of gallons of vodka companies. It would taste just like the shrub. It would taste like the shrub. There'd be no other flavor. And it would be good. Yes. <laughs> yes, because as you can see in, in the earlier video where we made That's that shrub, really good shrub, we just mixed it with soda water and it's fantastic on its own. Um, but you play with these different newer vodkas that are allowed to have a little bit of flavor. That's Good. really fascinating. Yep. That's amazing. Okay, so um, orange ginger shrub vodka mule. Definitely worth trying. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.